Hi, this is Pavan. Welcome to Technophiles Up. Hope you guys are all doing well in this pandemic and uh, keeping safe. Stay safe, guys. And uh, what we are going to talk today is about music source separation. Earlier, I have done videos on uh, audio extraction and uh, music extraction from a music file and uh, they are one of the popular videos on uh, my channel and uh, what I want to give today is an update on uh, things that are progressing in ML so there is this problem called uh, cocktail party problem wherein uh, you know different audio sources mix together and how we can separate uh, individual audio source uh, from a combination of the sources so it's a fairly complex problem and uh, people are trying for some time now to solve this problem and uh, there are multiple projects that are going on in terms of uh, you know music source separation music source separation is a project in which you have to separate individual uh, instruments from a single music source the project that we are going to talk today is about uh, dmux this is a facebook research project um, traditionally dmux uh, is a term um, you know an, uh, synonymous for demultiplexing multiplexing or demultiplexing is a process in which you combine uh, multiple sources in specifically in signal processing right you combine multiple signals into one uh, single source and uh, in uh, our video audio terminology if you talk about mpeg4 file file format or avi file format or you know mkv file format this file format is a combination of multiple sources it could be subtitles it could be video it could be audio so and it is merged into a single file wherein uh, the demultiplexer can decode the information from the single source and present to you on uh, the instrument or the hardware that you are using so here uh, the term demux is used to you know um, separate instruments from a single audio file there are multiple models using which we can extract um, instrument uh, sounds from the file and uh, some of them are open and mix wave unit dmux convitasnet and uh, it is uh, the dmux is a fairly recent project uh, and uh, let's see how it works um, this is uh, specifically you know uh, targeted towards developers it's not so easy to uh, implement uh, you know an ml project on your system um, but i um, you know if you can why not let's give it a try um, first let me clone this project from the github um, if you have git installed you can use git clone command to clone this Sorry about the keyboard sound, guys, and I cannot help it. Uh, so it requires Conda. Anaconda or Co Mini Conda are uh, tools that you can use to uh, install Python and all ML related um, packages. So you can, in, you can download Conda from internet using uh, Uh, Conda site and uh, uh, maybe you can use the command uh, sorry search them download mini Conda or download uh, Anaconda to download them alternatively you know if you are not gonna use this uh, 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 in your system you can try Google collaboration uh, Jupyter notebooks as well Collab 
so where it gives the um, you know um, the Jupyter node files using which you can uh, you know execute your Python projects okay um, but I'm gonna use my local installation here uh, since I have it um, the steps that you can follow are already given in uh, the project description page uh, and uh, they are fairly straightforward uh, let's give an try on that so uh, to create an environment um, we use the conda env create command here uh, since we already have an environment file that is given to us uh, which contains the dependencies so i'm going to use that command to install the environment in the system so i've taken some notes uh, about the project uh, let me open that and uh, this is the project github page uh, there is a research paper on the technique it used waveform waveform separation technique uh, and uh, they talk about you know uh, different models and how uh, dmux um, you know does uh, it is uh, you know based on um, a data set called uh, the muse db so um, wherein vocals drum bass and other uh, instruments are combined together to form this uh, particular uh, audio track and uh, the ml model is trained on this uh, particular source uh, and they compared it against with uh, multiple other models that are available on music source operation and I have a page for that and uh, we can see how individual uh, track you know performed against all the different models that we have okay uh, so let's get back to the terminal I hope uh, it got the environment got installed so let me activate the environment using conda activate command and uh, i give the environment name it is dmux and uh, the way that we run uh, this particular project is uh, on a saved model um, there is this uh, file called separate.py using which we can download uh, a pre-existing model so python uh, dmux dot separate and you can choose to use cpu or uh, gpu here in this case i'm using gpu because i have gpu installed and i have uh, necessary cuda installation files as well so um hyphen hyphen dl option allows you to download the model and uh, we need an audio track uh, so earlier i have used uh, someone like you by adele uh, so let's uh, use the same file i have downloaded that file and kept it uh, so uh, if you want to listen to the song Okay, um, so let's try the algorithm on this song. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have that as module, so. Uh, if you do not specify any uh, model name, then by default it downloads the DMUX model, which is a fairly large model. You can see it is 2.59 gigs. And uh, uh, let's see how this model performs against uh, other songs while it downloads. So there is this song by Tom McKenzie on directions. I want you, we shouldn't be lonely, we shouldn't have doubt. Um, on this particular song and uh, what the model that we are downloading is dmux so let's see how the vocals perform we should have the courage to say that i want you we shouldn't be lonely um, it fairly removed all the music sources except for the vocals but you can still uh, hear some instruments on top of the voice but mind you that this is the latest research on uh, this particular area um, you know fairly you know progressing but still 
this is what it is as of today with ml uh, on other audio sources you can see voice on top of uh, the instruments and uh, this is the bass and these are drums um, you know you can compare it against with other uh, models here um, you know there are multiple models and contrastnet is you know a fairly a small model we will see how that worked on contrastnet as well so um, the model already uh, separated the track and if we open the file from the separated section here it places in dmux folder and someone and uh, if we play the vocals here Leave you thing I didn't give to you oh old friend why are you so shy um, it did pretty good job but again you know as I was saying there are some instruments on top of the voice but yeah um, this is you know based on waveform separation it is not center panda audio as such so it did a pretty good job and uh, on other audio source you can listen some voice um, source but yeah um, drums and bass uh, I've tried this model already there is no bass and there is no drum so uh, it did pretty good job and if you want to use a separate model um, you can give the name of the model by uh, using the parameter hyphen n uh, let me open I don't remember the models that it came up with so let me see what are the models that are available um, yeah tasnet extra is there tasnet is there so let's use tasnet and ta or tasnet extra um, it's a fairly small model not like um, 2.59 gigs it's a 44 mb one and it already started uh, separating the music. Guess she gave you things. I didn't give to you you'd see my face and that you'd be reminded that um you can uh you can try it on your own or you know you know give it if you don't have the necessary hardware you can use google collab uh, to try that out um i found uh, one collab page about this let me uh, link that as well in the description below uh, uh, I'll, I'll find that and I'll share that in the link description so you can uh, try that out yeah uh, so this is what I want to talk about today hope you found this useful and uh, once again stay safe guys and uh, bye for now